Well, uh, to make a long story short, I stayed at UWC for six years working extensively with Community Law Center. Uh, that was for me a wonderful opportunity uh, to engage at that time with the constant drafting process and then I moved to traditional justice and um, I can say that it changed my career because the topics I'm uh, working on still today are coming from that time when I was uh, engaged with Community Center. But, uh, not only Community Center was a source of inspiration for me, but it also uh, uh, helped me to see uh, how uh, the law uh, can be helpful uh, uh, in concrete situations. Moreover, uh, it's not only me, it's also a number of uh, students that uh, uh, have been engaged with Community Center since about five years now. Uh, regularly, we have exchange students coming here, studying, uh, remembering these days when I arrived in South Africa. Uh, the community center allowed me to, to see concretely what the constant making process was. And at that stage, I was more an observer than, than anything else. And uh, that taught me a lot of things. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, starting from that story, I've been involved today uh, in a number of uh, uh, constitutional making process overseas and what I learned from here uh, while I was in the community center is very helpful for my uh, work as experts in other uh, constitutional assembly. So not only it was an experience for uh, South Africa, I think that community center made a tremendous uh, input within the constitutional assembly. I worked for the last three years in Tunisia and I don't know how many times I actually quoted the South African experience as being uh, the experience in which the participation, uh, the openness of the process uh, was there. And I think that uh, uh, that helped uh, other countries to see that they could overcome uh, their, their, their deadlocks and to end into a positive way. Uh, I'm now working, for instance, in Myanmar, and this is the same. Uh, the South African experience is something that is uh, widely regarded as uh, a source of inspiration for those who are, uh, cons uh, the, the constant making uh, bodies. So I would say that uh, that was a, a unique experience and that uh, has not ended with the uh, uh, final adoption of the 1996 constitution. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, really spread out of the borders and uh, I'm looking forward to see other uh, uh, members, new uh, students, doctor students, to, to take the, uh, the, the follow-up of uh, what we did uh, here uh, in, in, in 95.